What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and we are here with a showcase video for the brand new Kizuna Clash Sugo Fest exclusive Boa Hancock and this character is pretty awesome and of course you know the, the shining light of this character is that extremely powerful special ability which we'll talk about in just a moment but of course we have uh, three different arenas that we're showcasing in this video today this one here we have against Sasaki we have an awesome team against Luffy as well and then versus San Juan Wolf where we just go ahead and absolutely mollywop San Juan Wolf and then we have a GARP challenge towards the end of the video and let's just get into it let's start talking about this legend because I'm a huge fan of Boa Hancock as a character so I was very very pumped to see that she was getting another Sugo Fest exclusive and I think that they've done some really interesting things with this character. So Boa Hancock is a strength free spirit shooter and her captain ability will boost her own cooldown, will reduce her own cooldown by two turns at the start of the quest, giving a 5.25 times attack boost to strength free spirit and shooter characters, 1.25 health, strength, dex and psi slots are beneficial to the crew, slightly reduces the chances of landing on recovery in tandem and that's actually pretty significant especially if you have you know double boa hancock and also gives 2000 heal at the end of the turn. So the captain ability is pretty good, um, the fact that she reduces her own cooldown by two turns, I'm not a big fan of that, it would have been better if it was just minus one to the whole crew, um, I think a lot of people agree that that's a far superior effect that she can potentially provide. Minus two to herself doesn't really make much of a difference. Also, the fact that she's a health booster in the grand scheme of things is pretty cool. However, when you see how the special ability actually works of this character, I personally would have preferred it is instead of giving a health boost, she should have just granted instead of 1.25 health, 25% damage reduction. I think that probably would have worked out a lot better considering what her special does and we'll talk about that once we get to it a little bit later on in this video when we get to her special but the health boost that she provides is not very helpful in the grand scheme of things when you take into account everything that this character is able to do. The matching slots are very useful though. Strength Dex and Psy slots are really really good. You're getting lots of natural slots considering that she reduces the chances of both recovery and tandem slots appearing. The fact that she makes Strength Dex and Psy slots matching means that you're just generically getting more matching slots which is really really good to have. And then of course the 2000 heal at the end of the turn just because why not right? <laughs> it's just a really nice effect. When you partner up Double Boa Hancock you have auto heal at the end of the turn that's 5000 healing. Depending on what ship you have you could potentially go up to 6,000 heal per turn. It's a lot of healing that you can get with a very powerful, strong captain ability multiplier. Moving on from that, when you use her as a captain, you'll get access to her super type special for super strength. And in order to activate her super type, you do need a certain character on your crew from Monkey D. Luffy, Sandazonia, Merigold, Margaret, Grandma Neon, or have the condition fulfilled of passing seven turns in the middle of a quest. So I like that there is multiple different avenues in order to actually get this to activate. Um, sometimes you just need that, right? I like the fact that there is a little bit of freedom there because when you look at the characters there, aside from Luffy, there are not a lot of good characters you could you can actually use under Boa Hancock from the list that she provides. So I like that there is multiple ways to get it to activate. The actual effect though is also very strong. 2.25 times color affinity for three turns for strength, free spirit and shooter is just amazing. And then also inflicts the love, love status to all enemies where it, it'll, it'll be a 10 stack or a 10 hit love, love effect on the enemy. And it means if you use both super types at the same time, it actually can go up to 20 hits of love, love, which is pretty awesome. And then strength characters become super strength. Um, I think this is a very, very good effect. 2.25 affinity for three turns is just amazing. So we definitely take that for sure. And then of course you have her special, which is also very, very powerful. And this is probably the most powerful component of the character. Maxing out at 13 turns, 12 with expansion, will boost strength, free spirit, and shooter character's attack by 2.5 times until the crew's HP is reduced by 3,000. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But it also inflicts the petrify status. So if an enemy is already inflicted with love love, the Petrify status means that your Love Love effect will not actually go down when you attack them with normal attacks. And that lasts for two turns. It's a really powerful effect, actually. It means that you can kind of enable yourself to do really cool stall effects, as you guys would have seen in this 
clip here versus Luffy on stage four versus Zoro and Rebel to use the love love effect to just stall a turn and not even have to worry about delaying him or tanking the damage. So that's a really neat effect that that uh, love love effect can have. And the fact that you can petrify an enemy to get it to activate for multiple turns is pretty strong. Um, but because it is a more of a defensive effect, don't really know how useful it's going to be. If you don't have Love Love inflicted, it will still inflict a Love Love effect for 8 hits, and also cancels your crew's attack reducing slot effects for 3 turns. A very odd component, because there aren't too many situations where this is actually going to be useful in a lot of instances. If you have a slot that reduces your attack, like a block slot, or whatever it may be, you're typically trying to find a way to get rid of that, not trying to make it a neutral slot. So it is weird, it is weird, I will admit, but at the end of the day, you know, unique effects on this character are fine. I'm completely fine with having really unique effects on this character. However, this is where we need to talk about the, the very useful component of this character and why this character will probably see a lot of play in the future is the fact that she gives you a 2.5 times attack boost to strength, free spirit, and shooter, and it lasts, you know, basically infinitely until you take up to 3,000 damage. Now, this effect, unfortunately, can be removed in a lot of different ways, right? Um, if you obviously take a normal attack from an enemy and you go over 3,000, you will lose the buff. If you get despaired, you lose HP, which ultimately loses the buff. And this is what I was talking about before. With the fact that Boa Hancock gives you an HP boost, if you get despaired while you have her special active, you lose HP, ultimately losing your buff. So I'm not a big fan of that. I wish she had damage reduction instead, so if you got despaired, you actually wouldn't lose out on the buff. So I think that's a bit of a weird design choice, honestly. It might be a balancing factor. Either way, it's really strange. Another way you can you lose the buff, obviously, is if the enemy, you know, removes your beneficial effects. If you have a special ability that does a health cut to yourself, you'll lose the buff. If you hit, get hit with poison, you'll lose the buff. If you get hit with burn, you lose the buff. So there's lots of ways to actually lose it. So depending on the type of content that you're going up against, you may have to really look into what the gimmicks are first, but there are ways that you can get around all of these effects where you can just have this 2.5 attack boost just last for a really long time. And you can have it so that you can have it for multiple stages. If an enemy revives, you can have it for that. Like there's so many cool instances as to where you can utilize this really neat buff. Like, as we just mentioned, with the Despair debuff, you know, you can just lose out on your HP completely, but you can just hybrid this character up, hypothetically, with Goldie Roger, run a full team like that, and Goldie Roger completely resists Despair, and you can go about your merry way with a 2.5 attack boost for the whole quest. That's a really cool way to go about it as well. And of course, um, you know, if your beneficial effects are removed, Roger can also remove it. So that's, you know, one really cool use case for this potential effect. But also for long form content like GARP challenges or training forests, um, you know, if we ever get, you know, stuff like that again, <laughs> um, th this type of special is going to be incredibly powerful as we can kind of showcase it a little bit in this quest here versus the Navy GARP challenge. Um, one thing we can also talk about very briefly is her support effect, which is also kind of unique. So it does attach to the same characters that are required for her super type special, Luffy, Margaret, Sandazonia, Merigold, and Grandma Neon. And at level 5, it will change the supported character's slot into a strength slot specifically, and also removes attack reducing slot effects for one turn, and heals 2000 HP when you reach the final battle. So I do like the fact that we have more supports that are unique in the fact that they're just giving you a certain slot, not just changing it into a matching slot. Because as we know with Versus Ace for example, he needs the captain to have specifically a strength slot, in order to get his chain boundary effect. Now, of course, that's only like one circumstance where you need a strength slot, but hypothetically, if you're in a piece of content and on the final stage, the enemy has a strength slot barrier and you need a strength slot in order to get through it, this support effect is gonna be really good for that. And the fact that it does attach to Luffy really opens it up because obviously Luffy has like some of the most, you know, character representation in the game, obviously. So the fact that you have a support that is this unique, it's not going to be used all the time for sure, but there's going to be a lot of cases in the, in the future, I'm sure of it, where you're going to want to have this support just for like one specific circumstance. So overall, I really like the fact that this character has so many different abilities that are very unique that not a lot of characters have. So it makes this character more valuable to own in my personal opinion, and through utilizing her in various pieces of content, I'm a really big fan of this character. Also, as of the recording of this video, we don't really know what the Kizuna Clash versus Chopper is going to entail, but of course this character is going to be very useful for that content as well. 
But either way, that pretty much is going to wrap it up for me. If you guys have had a chance to use Boa Hancock thus far, or um, are really, really excited about this character, definitely let me know down below in the comment section, because this character is, is, is definitely a lot of fun. And I wonder if this character is going to have any synergy whatsoever with the New Year's character or characters. I really hope that we see some synergy with this character. But... Either way, this is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that guys. I'll see you guys within the next video. そなたに怒られると憂いておったぞ。